Now, if you recall from before, the first thing you should always do is look for greatest common factor. And this is going to make life a lot easier because you can factor by looking for two numbers that have a product of 16, 2 times 8, and a sum of 8. But um, it would be easier if you factor out the greatest common factor here, which is going to be 2. So we can write this as 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And so this then, if we, um, we can factor the trinomial here. So this is going to be 2 times, we need two numbers that multiply to be 4 and add up to be 4. And 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2 times 2 is 4. So our two numbers are x plus 2 and x plus 2 equals 0. And you'll note that uh, the same number in both of these brackets is going to result in um, if x equals negative 2 in both brackets that's going to satisfy the equation. So there's only actually one solution here. We can rewrite this as 2 times x plus 2 squared equals 0. Um, but we're not, um, we can leave it unfactored if you want. And I'm going to undo that. Just erase this part. And so the two solutions, or sorry, the one solution then is x equals negative 2, because x equals negative 2 uh, results in the equation um, being true. So when we have one solution, that means that our parabola is going to um, have its vertex on the x-axis. And so there's only going to be one solution, so it's going to touch, it's going to intercept the x-axis at one point, and that'll be the vertex. So it's x equals negative 2.